Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you today? Awesome. Cesar. How are you? Very good, very good. Very nice. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Ready for action. How was your weekend? Oh, very good. Um, what did you do this so weekend? Tired. So tired, no sad. You feel tired? Tired. From the weekend? <laughs> so, yeah. Did you work on the weekend? No. Is um, with my son, they play the video game, and then play the soccer, play the uh, everybody. Oh, well, sounds like you had a good time. You enjoyed good time. the family. Good time with my, with my son. Okay, okay. Good time with my son. I like Very that, good. Cesar. Very nice. I like that. Thank you. Celia Romero, how are you? Aleli. Hello, Aleli. How are you doing? Hello, Morena. Welcome. Hey, Elvis. Hey, teacher. How are you? Very good. Very good. Ready for action. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, hello. Good evening, Emerson. Welcome, welcome. I hope that everybody had a very good weekend. I hope that you guys enjoyed with your friends and your family and that you had a good time. Yes. Who can tell me what information we were discussing in the previous class? What do you remember? We're talking about uh, for question uh, with the used, I used to. Very good, very good. Um, for example, for example, you can say uh, I used to play with toy cars, but now I play PlayStation. Or you could say, I used to ride a bike, but now I ride a motor cycle. I used to skate, but now I walk. I used to clean my house, but now I pay. So I want you to give me five examples, five examples expressing what you used to do when you were a child. For example, everybody listen and repeat. I used to play with toy cars, but now I play PlayStation. I used to play, used with, to play with toy cars, cars, but, toys, cars. But, now I play but now I play PlayStation. I used to ride a bike, 
but now I ride a motorcycle. I used to, I used to, ride, ride, a bike. I used to ride a bike, but now I, I, ride, ride, a not, I ride to motorcycle, a motorcycle. I used to skate, but now I walk. I used to, I used skate, to skate, but, but now, now I walk. walk. I used to clean my house, but now I pay. I used, I used to clean, to clean my, my house, house but, now, but now I play. play. Okay. I play. So I want you to give me five examples in pairs. One participant can share the screen if he wants to. And uh, I want you to express what you used to do and what you do now. Any questions? In your notebook, in your notebook. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. So, so. so, so. <laughs> that's okay. I know it's a learning process. I know. When I came to El Salvador, my Spanish was not so good. So. I understand the, the difficulty when you are learning a new language, so. My caliche is good. Oh, yeah, yeah, my caliche is excellent. <laughs> Chivo, vamos. De Choto. Oh, uh, teacher, no me aparece el room. Aleli, you are in room number. Aleli is with Emerson Mejia. Okay, give me one second. We're going to put you in 10. And then we're going to put Aleli in 7. Okay. Try it out. Okay. Yes. Three dijo o cinco. Eh, no, five. no recuerdo. Five. 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 Sí. Yes. Five okay. Statement. Y, y me imagino que son individuales, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. o sea, no la, no la vamos a decir cada uno de nosotros. Por ejemplo, uh, I used to play football este, uh -huh. every week. Ok, sí. perfecto. Hi, Erika. 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 Solía jugar pelota. I used to play football. I used to play guitar. Ah, oh, really? En realidad, flauta. Voy a buscar cómo se dice flauta porque no me recuerdo. Ok. Vamos a ver cómo se dice flauta. Flauta. Flute. 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 Okay. I used to play flute. Ah. It's very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how do you say escondelero <laughs> in English? <laughs> Yo creo que conserva, conserva el, el, el nombre, sí, porque nombre, es ¿verdad? como un nombre propio, ¿verdad? Sí, tiene que ¿Qué? ser así. Ajá. Uh -huh. Quería tocar a Claudia, que está muy paciente. Quiero ver.
Hola, hola, voy llegando. Ando perdida. Hola, Irma. Hola. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank voy, you. Voy entrando a clase, yo no, no ando perdida okay. ahorita. Estamos haciendo el uso del used to, lo que solíamos hacer cuando en la infancia. Okay. Ah, Vamos okay. a hacer cinco oraciones. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Va, está bien. Liars. Una me hace falta, pero ya no sé qué poner. Yo solía. <risa> bueno, solo que digamos una cada uno con las que tengamos sí. ahorita, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Okay. Para intercambiar okay. las ideas nada más. Ajá. Vaya. Uh, okay. I use I use to ride a bike. And I know to. <laughs> y ahora también. <laughs> Bye. Ahora, Elvis, usted. Okay. Uh, I used to walk to work, but now I drive a car. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marvin. Okay. I, I have a uh, four. For answer, uh, the number one, I used to play football. Uh, I, I, used? I used to play, I used to play uh -huh. soccer. Ah, I okay. used to play club. I used to travel to San Miguel. In, uh -huh. And the final sentence, I used to meet out with my classmate after the class. Ah, o sea, no. yo solía reunirme con mis compañeros al salir en el bachillerato. Uh -huh. Ajá, ya ok. No. <risa> Ajá. ¿Y Irma? Eh, I used to travel in bus to my work. No sé si está bien. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Vaya, I used to play basketball, my friends. And, and now two. <laughs> yo, pensé que iba, yo pensé que iba a decir, <laughs> but I know, but now I don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, aquí están uh, ustedes. <laughs> okay. El otro que puse yo, por okay. ejemplo, I used to go. I used to go to the gym, but now I don't have time. Ah, it is necess necessary. Really? Sí. Necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, yes. yo eso quisiera, quisiera ir a un gimnasio o algo así. Pero, uh -huh. Todos eh, quisiéramos eso. El tiempo, el tiempo como in, que no mucho. Ajá. Uh -huh. In home también. Tú. Tú. Yeah. Es mm -hmm. posible, mm -hmm. at home. Awesome. Eh, vaya, Marvin. Marvin, ya la dijo todo. Bro. Sí. Ah. Yo te la puedo repetir si quieres. <risa> Voy a decir una de las. Quiero ver. Okay. Eh, sí, quiero ver, quiero ver. I used to. I used to. Quiero ver. I used to... Ah, no, ya nos vamos. Chao. Allá, allá las decimos. Allá las vamos yeah. a decir. Chao. Okay. Thank Bye. you, classmate. All right. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes, we are, teacher. 
All right. Yes, vamos, a, vamos a esperar que entren todos y después vamos a eh, cambiar grupos. ¿Ya regresamos todos? Yes. Ok. Ok, excellent. We are going to change partners. Vamos a cambiar parejas. Ready? Let's go. play the video um you say to play um soccer um now i see yeah i know no there more <laughs> basketball no tennis pipi si gana cheese cheese but no cheese. i play cheese yes yeah no cheese. yes uh, I, I used I used to go I used to I used to walk to work, but no, I drive car. <laughs> okay, okay, is it good? Um, Claudia, your examples. Claudia Lopez. Claudia, no, it's a no. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. It's my first day. <laughs> So we, I don't know where uh, where uh, you the, the topic. What is the topic? Is you say too? Se llama mita que te está perdida. Oh, Jocelyn, you are examples. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, wait me. Um, I used to go to the gym, but now I do exercise at home. I used to go to the cinema, but now I watch movies on Netflix. I used to eat fast food, but now I eat healthy. I used to sleep a lot, but now I can't. Um, I used to wake up late, but now I wake up early. Okay, it's very nice. Uh, repeat, please, number four. Ah, okay. Number four. I'm slow. Uh, number four. Uh, okay. Um, I used to sleep a lot but now i can't okay okay i love sweet no, sleep um carmen you have um exercise or examples are you here coming no no here no here. carmen okay thank you jasmine welcome 
Do you have the exercise? Eh, no, no sé cuáles ejercicios están haciendo. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. I used to, uh, Claudia, la semana yeah. pasada no estuviste ningún día. No. Okay. Oh, teacher, como que hay muchos uh, estudiantes nuevos ahora. Hace poco acabo de sí. estar con Gustavo y tampoco, esa es la primera él, clase. Él, él fue mi compañero en el módulo anterior y hasta hoy entró. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ah, una, Gustavo. Está raro, ¿no? Yes, sí. Gustavo. Ah, yeah. Como que han okay. añadido más al grupo. Ok. El teacher no está aquí. Ok. Rapturo Domain. Goodbye. Thank you. Your hair. All right. Let me have DJ Santiago. one volunteer. <laughs> DJ Santiago. DJ oh, DJ Santiago. Can um, I have a camera? Sorry? Um, se le olvidó encender la cámara, teacher. Uh, ah, uh, no, no se me olvidó. Es que me duelen los ojos porque todo el día paso enfrente de la ¿Tiene pantalla. Tiene mucho frío, frío. entonces. But but right now, I feel like this is fire. no problem. Okay, Santiago, let me have your examples. My example, okay. Yes. The first one. Yes. Santiago used to run when he was 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but now? But now I can't to run. <laughs> Why? Because I'm old. <laughs> How old are you? 41 years old. Oh, come on, man. You're a young man, <laughs> brother. You're a young man. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you. All right. Good job, Good Santiago. Hey, Santiago, okay. select somebody. <laughs> Okay. Voy a elegir a a a a a a a Jocelyn Sofia. Jocelyn Sofia. <laughs> sure. Um, just give me a second. Okay. I used to go to the gym, but now I do exercise at home. I used to go to the cinema, but now I watch movies on Netflix. I used to eat fast food, but now I eat healthy. I used to sleep a lot, but now I can't. And I used to wake up late, but now I wake up early. Perfect. Perfect, Jocelyn. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Select another student, Jocelyn. Okay. Um, uh... Um, Irma Raquel García de Monterrosa. Okay. I used to I used to travel in bus in bus to my work, but now I have my cars. Mm, ahí sería by bus. By I'm bus. bus. Ajá. Cada vez okay. que estamos, eh, digamos expresando eh, término de transporte you can say I travel I, I travel by bus or okay. I travel by car uh -huh. siempre okay. es by, by antes de el término de mm. transporte. Okay. I used to travel by bus to my work, mm -hmm. but now I have my cars, but I can't drive yet. Okay. 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 All right, sounds good, okay. sounds good. We understand the idea. 
Uh, Irma, select somebody else. Thank you. Uh, Cesar. 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 You are next, Cesar. He's absent. Absent. Okay, okay. Uh, Gustavo Hernandez. Hey, everyone. My example, mm, two years ago, I used to drive to the office, but now I work from home. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, Is that true or no? It's true. Hey, congratulations. Ah, oh, that's good, brother. That's an advance. Mm, the order, when I was younger, I listened to music on the radio. And now I use, I use Spotify or YouTube music. All right. Okay. When I was younger, I used to listen used to music to on the radio, to. but now I listen to Spotify or YouTube. Good. And the other, I when I was younger, I used to cook in the morning in the morning, but now I only eat cereal or a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, something light, something light. Something. Okay, okay, okay. Good job, Gustavo. All right, guys. I think that everybody understands the the idea. Um, how do you feel? Uh, with this topic. ¿Cómo sienten este tema? Es básicamente para expresar lo que usted solía hacer antes que ahora ya no lo hace. Cosas que usted en su juventud o cuando estaba en bachiller o la universidad usted lo hacía, pero esas cosas cambian. Uh, teacher, ¿y es común que se ocupe seguido en las conversaciones? ¿O es... para cuando se va a escribir alguna oración? Normalmente se utiliza como cuando uno quiere expresar como nostalgia, cuando tú extrañas aquella cosa. Right? Por ejemplo, tú dices, yo solía pasar las navidades con mi familia, pero ahora ya no porque todos están en los Estados Unidos. Right. Ok, Entonces, y para negar algo que hacía antes, estábamos hablando con Brian y me decía, decía él que debíamos ocupar el tío. Ah, correcto. Digamos que usted decía, digamos que antes usted no fumaba y ahora fuma. Eh, ok. I didn't uh -huh. used to smoke. Ok. But now I do. Ya, yeah, sí okay. se puede, sí se puede. Ok. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, now what I would like for us to do is we're going to go with the next activity. For the following activity, we are going to be expressing section number 2.0, lesson objective. Learn how to describe problems in English using countable and non-countable nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to describe problems in a city using phrases like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. You'll also learn about common noun countable nouns, including water, oxygen, English traffic, I mean, sorry, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, etc. And understand how to tell if a noun is countable or non countable. An English oral comprehension audio exercise is included. So, what I would like for us to do is listen to the video. And then I would like for you to ask me questions about the countable and uncountable nouns. Let me know if you buses is that you count hear? or not count.
Can everybody hear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars. But I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using whether they're count or non-count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? 
Um, police officers, is that count or not count? Um, buses, is that count or not count? And pollution, is that count or not count? Okay, guys, at this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to this video? Or would you like for me to play the video one more time? One more time, please. Okay, let's listen one more time, and then I want you to ask me the questions, please. We'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. So for example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Well, let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many 
buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non count? Um, police officers, is that count or non count? Um, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? All right. At this moment, do you guys have uh, any questions in regards to the countable and non countable nouns? Yes, teacher. What is your question? Uh, when I should use a lot, much, mm -hmm. and money. Oh, okay. A lot you can use with both countable and non countable. For example, you can say, I drink a lot of water. This is non countable. Water is non countable. Or you can say, I eat a lot of pupusas. That is countable. So you can use a lot of for non countable and countable. Many is only for countable. I eat many pupusas. It is countable. E fewer is for non countable. For example, there are few eggs in the refrigerator. So a lot of you can use for countable and non countable both. Many is only for countable and there are few eggs in the refrigerator few is only for countable. Okay. And okay, pardon. Para recapitular, much is a uh, no countable and many is for countable. No, much is for non countable. I drink much coffee in the morning. I, I see much, I see much space in the sky, non-countable. I waste much electricity in my house. Excuse me, teacher. Todo va a depender del contexto. No. Eh, si la palabra es contable, usamos many. Si la palabra es no contable, usamos much. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y a lot of es para contable y no contable. Y few es para contable. En a little. A little es para no contable. Okay. For example, 
on Sundays, on Sundays, there is a little traffic. Right? Los domingos hay poco tráfico. So traffic is non-countable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, for example, for example, you can say, there is a little milk in the carton. Hay poca leche en el cartón. Or you can say, I have a little time to relax. Tengo poco tiempo para relajarme. Time is non-countable. Or you can say, there are many hours in the day. Hours is countable. Okay. Another question? Mm. Okay, now at this moment, you are going to identify if the word traffic is countable or non-countable, buses countable or non-countable, pollution countable or non-countable, and police officers countable or non-countable. Does anybody have any questions at this moment? No, no. Vaya, yo quiero hacer una pregunta, teacher. Hey, Brian. He, he visto en algunas ocasiones que usan a lot al final de, a, de la oración o al final de un verbo o al final de un adjetivo, a veces usan a lot. Ajá. ajá. Eh, ¿Cómo puede interpretarse eso? O ¿Qué cambio hace en, la, en, en el significado de la palabra? Eh, no hace ningún cambio, solamente... Eh, expresa la cantidad de cuánto le gusta. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, eh, usted dice, I like pupusas. Pupusas. Vengo yo y le, y le respondo, me too, a lot. Me too, a lot. Right. Es como una forma de responder corta. Mm -hmm. Y en caso de trabajo, digamos, I work a lot o I work a lot. Las dos son correctas. La diferencia es que lots es informal y a lot es más formal. I work a lot es más formal que I I work lots. Es informal. Pero significan lo mismo. También he visto las combinaciones de too much, too many, y so much, y so many. Correct. Correct. También se pueden usar para calificar cantidad. Another question? I have one question, teacher. Jaime. Uh, sí. The word enough mm -hmm. is used to uh, countable and non-countable. Well, enough, or... you can say there are enough students countable. Mm -hmm. There is enough food 
non-countable. So yes, you can use yes. enough for, for both. Countable for both. and uncountable. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, all right. We're going to identify the countable and uncountable nouns in the exercise in pairs. Casas, the, the house, and else, the big jewels. Um, um, other examples, Jocelyn? Houses are countable. Okay, examples, the uncountable. Oh, okay. Uncountable is more like, for example, it oxygen, oxygen. The pollution, pollution, pollution like traffic, water, water, coffee, honey, honey, side. Okay. Is, oh, uh, honey, honey. Oh, sugar, sugar. Oh, honey, <laughs> honey. Oh, sugar, sugar. <laughs> the music 17. I like music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Okay, it's a good music. Okay, in uh, countables, um, examples, um, shoes, um, house, um, cars, for, uh, excuse me, cars, cars, okay, um, other 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 examples Carmen <laughs> Jocelyn <laughs> from uncountables yes countables um, uncountables um the phones yeah cell phones um shoes uh how <laughs> shoes no oh. Uh, T-shirts, mm -hmm. um, flowers, yes, a uh, dress. Books. Okay, flowers mm -hmm. is countable. Flowers is countable, pero si digo la palabra nature, naturaleza, nature. Pero si estamos hablando, por ejemplo, de uh, 12 rouses, no, no, no. Flowers is countable. In general? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Flowers okay. Is, is countable. Roses is countable. Okay. Lilies is countable. Petunias okay. is countable. Daisies is countable. Pero si yo digo la palabra nature. Nature. Is countable or non-countable? Non-countable. Non-countable. Non Good. Okay. It's nature. Non-countable. Okay. Uh, other questions? Other examples? Guys? Um, uh, the pencils. Um, the pen. <laughs> Oh, oh, you okay? 
Ya salah. Iya, ya oke. You think? Yes. Um, teacher, the wood is not countable. Correct. Correct. Wood is considered non-countable. Wood is considered non-countable. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Is them Eduardo? Hi, hi, hi. Do you have the other examples? Um. Um. The vegetables and the TV. Is it not, not countable? <laughs> the TV? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 yo puedo decir eh, X cantidad de televisores. Mm -hmm. O no, no, no es por ese punto. Teacher? Yes, TVs are considered non-countable. Non-countable? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, let me have one volunteer give me an original example. Excuse me, teacher. You say identificator words, no say examples. Oh, okay. Did you write any examples? Original examples? No, teacher. No? I don't okay. have teacher. You don't have original examples? Okay. What about traffic? Is traffic countable or non countable? Non-countable. Non-countable. Non -countable. What about police officers? It's countable. countable. Buses. Countable. 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 Pollution. No countable. No countable. All right. All right. Now I want you to give me some original examples. That's going to be your homework. Okay, Aleli, you have some original examples? Examples in not countables is wood, wood air, pollution, iron, pollution uh, water, water, um, e countables, um, computers, computers. Um, schools, schools, uh, desk, um, desks, um, pencils. Pencils, etc. Et good, good, good. Very good. Aleli, thank you. Santiago, do you have some examples? I want to say something. Of course. For example, I say, do you have many friends? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have many friends? Count good. Friends countable. is countable, correct. Um, uh, other? It won't take much much time. Oh, excellent. It won't take much time. Good. Perfect. No countable. Non-countable. That is correct. Okay. That's it. Perfect. Perfect, Santiago. Thank you. Okay, guys, that's going to be your homework. Work on that. And please move forward on the platform. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow. Does anybody have any questions about today's class? I have question. I mean. Pero creo que otro compañero también. Creo que tenía. Yes. Okay. Eh, bueno, pero eh, tenía, si puede explicar es, o si existe diferencia entre little of y a little y a lot of y lot of. Ajá. 
Ah, ok. Eh, uh -huh. La diferencia es la formalidad. Eh, si usted dice, por ejemplo, there is little milk in the carton. There is a little milk in the carton. Es considerado formal. And if you say there is little milk in the carton, es considerado informal. O si quiere decir there is a lot of milk in the carton is formal. Y si dice there is lots of milk in the carton is informal. Okay, teacher, I understand. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, solo tengo una última pregunta ya para finalizar. Yes. He escuchado una palabra que dicen algunos este, nativos que es a bit. ¿Cuál? Quiero saber si es a bit. Ah, oh, a bit, a bit, si es, a, bit a veces a la bit. suelen, suelen utilizarla con little bit. El little ajá, bit, ajá, a bit. ajá. Pero quería saber si esa palabra es contable en contado. Para, ah. para, para contables en contable. Eh, a bit y a little bit es para no contable. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, is there any food? Is there any food? Hay comida? Y usted me dice, oh, a bit, un poco. O oh, a little bit. A little bit. Un poco. Right? La diferencia es a little bit es formal y a bit es informal. Pero es para non-countable. Gracias, teacher. Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. Let's stop right here and we will continue tomorrow. Please try to look at the videos and try to practice the examples. Uh, try to make some original examples. This is going to help you uh, retain the information. And we see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. 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 <laughs>